Today I'm going to show you how to install a custom firmware like OpenWRT or DDWRT into your Netgear router. I will show you with an example of my Netgear R6850 router. The process is pretty much same for others. And I will install OpenWRT into this router. So for that you will need the router the power adapter and an ethernet cable and a free ethernet port now you will need to go to the openwrt firmware selector website and download the required firmware for your device always download the factory firmware if you are installing from the stock firmware now here i have downloaded that now rename the firmware to R6850. You can rename it to anything you want. Now navigate to the router's home page, which is usually 192.168.1.1. Of course, after connecting the router via one of its LAN ports and turning it on. Now navigate to the advanced, then administration, then firmware update. Let me remind you that the TFTP method is often not successful for most Netgear routers. So this is the easiest and the simplest method available. Now select the firmware that you just downloaded and upload it to your router. It will take a couple of minutes. It will take at around uh, 5 to 10 minutes. I'm speeding up the video for your convenience. It, it is written that it will take 3 minutes, but it takes around 5 to 10 minutes. Don't turn off the power or press the reset button. This is important. Now, after the firmware has been uploaded, you will have to wait for the router to boot up. And then, while the Ethernet is being still connected, put 192.168.1.1 and you will be greeted with the LUCI interface of the OpenWRT. Now set the password for the first time. If you are confident in OpenWRT, you can skip for the rest of the video. Now navigate to the network, then wireless, then add, you can select any channel, you have to experiment with this. You have to experiment with wireless powers and channels. Not everything will be working right out of the box. And that is the beauty of custom firmwares. You set up and set up the wireless mode. I will be using this router as an access point.
now after enabling all the wireless radios i will check on wi-fi analyzer Now you can see that the new network is visible. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to revert back to the stock firmware if you messed something up. I will show you three methods for reverting back to the stock firmware. So that's it for today. See you in the next video.